Hello again to all of you powerboat fanatics and lovers of the Florida boating lifestyle. Stu Jones back here in the Pompano Beach studio with the Florida Powerboat Club's YouTube channel. And we are featuring our fourth and final episode of the Tampa Bay Poker Run, celebrating 11 years of this very festive and popular Poker Run event, which has now reached a record 72 registered teams. Florida Powerboat Club's 2021 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats and their sister company, Deep Impact Boats, along with their exclusive worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart. Midnight Express Power Boats, Mercury Racing Wide Open, Mystic Power Boats, Myco Custom Trailers, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, and our official prize sponsor, Superior Communications, providing us with Garmin and Icon products as prizes for our Poker Run events. In addition to our 2021 series sponsors, we'd like to thank our local manufacturing sponsor, Statement Marine, based right here in St. Petersburg, Florida. Company owners Nick and Priscilla Buis on hand to join us, as well as got this, 10 registered Statement owners. That's going to be a lot of fun hanging out with that gang. As always, we like to feature our teams as they pull up to the dock for card number one, and this is Jim and Jason Paris in their brand new Statement 36 cat and a lovely crew member to kick things off here. Not sure if that's Emma or Avis, but they have made this a family affair doing their first poker run in this brand new and beautiful Statement 36 cat. Mercury Racing Power, and there she goes, putting on her life jacket. Pay attention, guys. Looking good, looking good. I like the suits. Beautiful. And it's another statement. This one, a 38 center console, Bruce and Tracy Kruglick. Let's listen in as they get their poker card. Well, guys, if you haven't figured this out yet, this is about the best place to stand uh, for the first checkpoint as Ed and Kathy Champion come up in their 41-foot Donzi. Team Big Thunder from Lake of the Ozarks. Love the styling of this 41-foot Donzi. Look at the huge cockpit, and they've just recently added this acrylic T-top, and what a great-looking boat. Our first sensation of the day, and uh, Keith and Karen Rockman, avid poker runners, who follow us all over the state of Florida. Always have a fun crew on board. Sensation 34 CCX. It's a great poker run platform, guys. Check out all the room for all your friends. And of course, triple Mercury 350 Rottos. What a great way to get around town. Well, guys, it just keeps getting better as our lovely Natalie, one of the first mates on John Wittenberger's 39 foot cigarette. She's reaching out for the car and she's missing the card, not enough. Oh, and then Kim can't do it either. Oh, and a dude gets the card. Uh, that's points off, guys. We need a replay on that one for the judges. And say hi to Melissa, Lauren, and Lily as they get ready for the next team. Girls doing a great job today. And here's Robert McAtee all the way from Oklahoma. Brand new statement, 35, and he's pulling up for his card. No points off, guys, if you have only guys on the boat. Oh, that's tough. It's a dude shower scene with a bottle of water. I don't know, guys. Might have to take some points off. Let's check in with the girls. I was not expecting that. That was awesome, guys. <laughs> that was well, the girls were a little surprised, but it was pretty funny, so no points off today. Let's welcome the Monroe clan from New Jersey in their right performance cat. They love doing this event, and it looks like it's our lovely first mate, Jacqueline Monroe, up on the deck. She loves doing these poker run events with dad and mom. In fact, it's her third event in a row this year already, attending poker runs in Florida on this colorful cat. And it looks like she's taking that daring stance out on the sponsor of this right performance cat, reaching out for that lucky card, and she gets it. Looking great in her bikini and giving a new meaning to the word string bikini with those long side tie strings. Yeah, 
Jeff Reel and his crew came a long way all the way from Michigan to join us and his lovely first mate out there getting her first poker card on this brand new Deep Impact 369. They just took delivery of this boat from Plantation Boat Mart. After the poker run, it'll be headed back to Michigan as a demo for their dealership, which is Unreal Performance in the Lake St. Clair area. And who wouldn't want to ride on this brand new Midnight Express Solstice? It's a 43 model. Check out the new cabin and the new layout. Lots of windows, and I know that the landsmen's are really enjoying this new Solstice. So we are going to ride on board today, say hi to some of the crew members, and give them a thumbs up for wearing their life jackets, because that's what we do, guys. Safety first here on these FPC events. Let's check in with our FPC girl, Lily, who seems to be having a great time. Got her nice pink life jacket on today. Suits her perfectly, and she's just having a blast. I wonder what she had for breakfast. Apparently, it's gotten her all jazzed up for the day, and she's about to have a fantastic ride on the poker run. So with our videographer, Ryan, on board, uh, who's going to be producing a nice segment here on board, this 43-foot Midnight Express, we're looking over Lily's shoulder, and that's David Carey in that new 37-foot Midnight Express. And, of course, he always brings himself a loaded crew. And these ladies have chosen to make it a red bikini day as they head out for the Saturday poker run. David is having a great run with Florida Powerboat Club so far this year. Just back two months earlier in February, he attended the Miami Boat Show poker run, winning him the Sexiest Crew Award. You can see why. And he was lucky enough to pull the top hand, winning the Poker Run Grand Prize. And as promised, guys, we said we're going to give you a ride-along segment today. That's exactly what we're going to do. So David Landsman at the helm, and just look at that magnificent helm on that Midnight Express. The boat is so beamy, over 12 foot of beam. Just gives a giant helm and a lot of room on board. Nice shot over top of those five Mercury Racing 450s, all color matched to the trim of the boat. And I think it's that time to hold the handrail firmly, as my friend Ron Long would say, as we're getting back from the Gulf waters here, passing underneath the Sunshine Skyway. You can see how bumpy it is, but of course, that big 43 Midnight handling that swell with no problem whatsoever. That was about a five or six mile run out to Egmont Key and, and then back again, getting that second poker card. But watch how it smooths out getting back into the Tampa Bay area. And I think that's what everyone loves about Tampa Bay. Once you're in the protected bay waters, it's usually very, very calm. One of our safety boats here, Andrew Gast in his 37-foot Intrepid, two safety boats joining us today and riding along with the teams. They've got St. Pete uh, paramedic fire rescue guys on board. Dara Ceriza team ZRC along with his first mate Amanda uh, pulling up now here for their card. This is going to be card number three. It's a 60-foot prestige yacht. It uh, belongs to Noel and Gretchen Speranza who are opting to do the poker card today because their concept is not ready to run. So they said, well, let's go out and uh, bring the bumper boat out to do a card. And that's exactly what they're doing. You can see we're set up in a nice little calm protected bay water. And that is the Tampa Harbor Yacht Club in the background. And uh, just behind us here is the West Shore Yacht Club where we're gonna stop for lunch today. So this was a perfect location for poker card number three as the teams pulled into the marina for lunch. And plenty of docking and lots of staffing here to help us. First time we've done a lunch here at the West Shore Yacht Club. What a great location, all floating dock marina. And as the uh, guys get the lines out, looks like Lily's got a little untangling to do. And it looks like all the Midnight Express guys are going to stick together today. Now, Eric Glazer from the factory with this new 43, or at least a relatively new. I believe it's a factory trade. It's got five Mercury Racing 400 Rs. What a beautiful 43. Love the orange. And it's going to be a long walk to lunch because this is a really, really big marina, and uh, which is why we were able to get so many boats in here. Of course, on this inside basin, it was nice to raft everybody up. But here's a shot from up on the deck where you can see what a massive marina this is. Uh, several hundred boats here. And among the amenities, of course, this beautiful pool. In fact, I think there were two pools. And then this giant deck with all these tables set up, and they had the food hot and ready. So let's wander around and check out the crowd.
Well, that is the kind of fun we like to have here with Florida Powerboat Club and the West Shore Yacht Club certainly gave us the venue to do just that. Uh, but after lunch, it was time to get uh, back on the dock. And with so many people here, we still have another poker card checkpoint to do over at the Vinoy. And then everyone wants to get back into port before too long because late this afternoon, we're expecting a big storm to roll in. So we got to keep moving. And a very festive day continues. A nice place to hang out here on these docks at the West Shore Yacht Club. Of course, Statement putting on a great show, being the local builder. Ten registered statements here on this event as we see some of the teams idling out of the West Shore Yacht Club to head out onto the Bay Waters. Rob Boulware and first mate Cynthia getting the uh, 40 CCX ready to roll. And stopping by with uh, Jason and Christy Strauss on this 38 Statement Black Boats matter, and many of you might remember from the previous episode, they made a big splash right by the Tampa Convention Center when they got their first poker card, and yes indeed, that was a champagne bottle being opened up with a really big knife. <laughs> Only on the Tampa Bay Poker Run. Just watching these amazing boats as they funnel out of the marina, and it looks like uh, lovely Lily has decided to rejoin her FPC girls with Dennis De La Torre on that 41-foot Blackwater. And amidst all these center consoles, some of you guys will be happy to see this Outer Limits 44 and that Nortec 3600 Super Cat. There's another Super Cat. And in the background, a 35 DCB with 1350s. I know some of you guys that love that high performance stuff still love to see it and hear it. Let's listen in. And we're just a few minutes from getting back up to speed and on plane. We've got the helicopter flying again for the rest of the afternoon. So it's time for more high speed thrills. And kicking off the afternoon run, Dara Sarisa, first mate Amanda on this 38 foot Donzi ZRC. It's got big power, 800 aside. Let's listen in. Just love the way Darris is handling this 38 ZRC. It's one of the popular models from factory class racing. Oh, it was 20 years ago or more. We've still got about a dozen of these in the club and they're just great looking and great riding boats. And it is round two for Waylon Joe from the Chicago area in his Mystic 42. It's powered by four Mercury Racing 450s. Three in a row for Joe. He did this Tampa run back last fall in September, then joined us for that epic Key West poker run in November. And here he is again joining us in April for this Tampa Bay event and is a very uniquely styled uh, 42 Mystic. Love the colors. It won him the best center console award back in September, which was his debut poker run. And of course, a special thanks to the Mystic Factory, uh, Mystic owner John Kosker, actually here at this event in his very own brand new M4200, also powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450s. And here's a guy who always puts on a great show for us, uh, Chris Colson, Team Fluid Friendly. It's a one-off boat. A 2008 39-foot Levy Craft Evo. Got his wife and little daughter Charlotte on board. Let's listen in. And just a few notes from Chris's video bio. It says he's got this boat running 115 miles per hour now with a set of Herring 38s. What does Chris love about power boating? 
He says speed, noise, and the women. What a great ride and a big shout out to Raymond Evans in this 1985 35 cigarette mistress. It's a family day today with his dad and brother on board. And you've come to the right place if you want to see one-off boats that you've never seen before. <laughs> yep, that's what this one is. Uh, belongs to George Ariano. Actually, he's not driving it. Jamie Amonette is at the helm today and uh, while George is running his 35-foot DCB. Now this is a complete resto mod and what's unusual is it's a 36 cat that we never really saw in the poker run circles for years. I think it's the only one in the club right now, but completely redone, new paint, new rigging, 800 horsepower aside, uh, I'm guessing number six drives can't really see, uh, but it's a big heavy boat I'm told by George. I'm not sure the exact weight, but you can tell just by the way the boat is running in this chop. It just appears to be running very flat and stable through these waters. And a little time now with Team Unreal Performance, Jeffrey Real, all the way from Michigan. We saw them at the dockside earlier getting a poker card, and now they are putting on a nice show in this Deep Impact 369 Triple Mercury 400 mainline outboards. That is the ideal horsepower matchup for this very stylish 36-foot uh, center console, which borrows its styling from its bigger brother, the Deep Impact 399. And now catching up with a very avid poker run team, Matt Borsina, his first mate, Don, all the way from Long Island, New York, enjoying their right performance 360 cat, second one actually, from the exclusive dealer and builder of this brand, uh, Performance Boat Center. And Matt is just getting on it today in this 360, putting those Mercury Racing 450s through the paces. And running nearby here, distant cousin J.R. Adden from Georgia, in this 36-foot Doug Wright Cat, uh, the first one we've had in the club team, Bag of Ice, also powered by Mercury Racing 450s. And, whoa, a little speed wobble off that wave as he's just getting on it here through this afternoon chop on Tampa Bay. But I think most of our club members today are enjoying these waters considering just how bumpy and choppy it was out on the Gulf waters earlier in the day. And it's time for that big rooster tail, and that, of course, is from Michael Tandoy's 40-foot skater team out of control. He's always putting on a great show and a solid track record this year. Uh, done four out of the five last events, starting with Key West back in November. This 40 skater powered by Mercury Racing's 860s, and that is the first engine in the lineup of QC4 platform engines that go all the way up to 1550. But it seems to just push this skater perfectly. And we're going to see more of this boat in the fall season. Michael tells me the 860s are coming out. Mercury Racing 1100s coming in. And a big shout out to Frank Schielen. Came all the way from Germany to attend with this Nortec 3600 Supercat. Let's listen in. And it's another Mercury Racing 860 boat. This is Cass Schubert in his uh, SL44 Outer Limits. He's been enjoying this new boat for well over a year, but because of COVID, wasn't able to attend uh, any of our poker runs in 2020. So it's the first time we've seen Cass in quite some time. And so welcome back, Cass, and uh, finally getting a chance to check out this cool V-bottom. And from 44V to 34 Cat, it's now Pete Rivero from the Florida Keys in this MTI 340X. He's got a new pair of those Mercury Racing 450s. And while this boat is certainly capable of much greater speeds, understand, guys, this chop is just slowing down some of the lighter boats. And it's another center console. This one, a Sensation 40 CCX. First time we've seen them in this episode. Team Gray Area, Quad Mercury Racing 400s. Uh, Mike and Olivia Lopez 
who are from the Chicago area, but they just recently purchased a home along the Manatee River near Bradenton. So they're getting to enjoy some of the Florida boating lifestyle. And right about this time, they had just registered for the club's Bahamas poker run in June. So we're going to see them again in a future episode. And now making our way here to the St. Pete waterfront, a place uh, that we have all come to love. In fact, we are in now the Vinoy Basin. And many of you may remember, this is where we ran this poker run for years uh, out of the Vinoy Resort. So it's a homecoming of sorts as we now uh, rendezvous for our fourth poker card of the day and the returning uh, Keith Goodson and his crew aboard this 50-foot azimuth sport yacht. And we'll get a close-up look of Keith and his crew here in a minute. But uh, just kind of circling around, and there they are. And always a party on board, uh, this 50-foot azimuth team, This Is Us with a full crew handing out the poker cards. So it looks like we're just gonna circle here and give you guys a play-by-play -play of all the cards being handed off. Of course, there's that Vinoy in the background. A shout out to Kevin Tomlinson on his 30 Contender, another one of our official safety boats for the day. And this, in fact, is right where they picked up the St. Petersburg Fire Rescue dive paramedics who are on board today. And a shot from the Project 1080. It looks like Son Tyler up front to get that poker card from the ladies. And technically, we must deduct 10 points for not sending up my wife, Jackie. But that's okay. She said she's had enough fun for the day. Gotta love the festive vibe of this crew. Let's watch for a little bit. Amidst the roar of my 540s, you get the picture. This is just a really festive checkpoint uh, with this crew cheering every time they handed out a card. And back out on the waterways now, uh, chasing down some more teams as we catch up with Chris Andrasani in this beautiful 38-foot statement, custom built in every way, starting with Triple Mercury Racing 450s. But look at those custom paint and graphics uh, throughout the boat. You can't really see it, but this interior is super trick. They did the event back in uh, the Miami Boat Show Poker Run in February. Got a chance to climb on board, and they did a fantastic job with this boat here at the Statement Factory. Everybody having a blast on board today. You seem kind of a cramped up in the back there, but I think that's because nobody wants to ride up front right now. Obviously, it's a little choppy still, and uh, certainly that's the bumpier part of the boat. And it's another sponsor team as we catch up with Tim Gallagher from Performance Boat Center in this Wright Performance 360 Cat Mercury Racing 450s. I love the paint, the bright reds are just spectacular. This has become a very popular model since it came out just about five years ago at the Miami International Boat Show. In fact, one of the first ones that they delivered is right here on the event. That's a blue one with uh, Mark and Susan Monroe. Tim Gallagher tells me that this continues to be a very popular model with those people that are looking for that outboard cat experience and obviously there's a lot of them these days. Great job by Performance Boat Center on this exclusive cat model. And time to catch up with Team Midnight Express now, the factory team in the orange boat, that's a 43 open, as well as uh, David Landsman and his crew on this new 43 Solstice, that's the one in the background, the two of them running together here. Both uh, similar power, but the one in the foreground, five Mercury Racing 
400Rs in the background. That's five Mercury Racing, 450s. And special thanks to Midnight Express, who are based in Miami. Eric Glazer, operating the Orange 43 Open, uh, tells me that he's going to be trying to get a few more poker runs in through the summer, but that's about it. He's got another baby on the way in the fall season, so we're not going to see him in Key West. But, of course, all of the Midnight Express factory crew will be very well represented there. And if this shot looks familiar, well, that's because it is. It's the cover of this current issue of Power Boating in Paradise magazine, volume 21-2. And, of course, you can get your hands on that magazine by subscribing. And that subscription is also included with all FPC membership programs. Here's where you can find out more information. Our club website at flpowerboat.com. I think we got a bit of a theme going here now in the studio. Uh, two boats running together, sister ships, uh, 36 Super Cat, a very popular model for Nortec over the years. That's Frank Sheelan on the left in the gold boat, and that is Sven Dracker above your screen in the silver boat. Both of them equally matched in power. Mercury Racing 700s, I believe. They've both received some level of modifications to those motors, but you just gotta love the sound and the classic styling of this Nortec 3600 Super Cat. But in my opinion, the most impressive statistic about these two guys is that they traveled all the way from Germany to join us here for the Tampa run. And more time again with Cass Schubert uh, all the way from Texas with getting a little double love on this episode. Cass, haven't seen him for a couple of years on FPC events and now it's two in a row for the aerial segments. I guess you could say that he's just in the right place at the right time. Remember these guys in the helicopter are just out there to do their job. They're gonna photograph any boat that they come across and if they see something nice like this and the boat's running great, well, they're gonna stick to it and get some great content for our YouTube channel and of course for our club website and magazine. And what many of our viewers are probably not aware of, but are certainly our club members are, the Florida Powerboat Club makes these extensive uh, photo packages, all these high res photo images available to all club members at a price of just $149 for the complete set. Just another one of the benefits of being an FPC member. And now spending a little more time with Dennis Delatore from Plantation Boat Mart and his brand new 41 Blackwater Quad Mercury 400s, a step bottom hull and a big heavy wave crushing machine. And that is why our FPC girls are sitting up front today. And now I'm gonna spend some time with uh, card checkpoint number five. And this checkpoint boat may look familiar to some of you who watched the earlier episodes. Indeed, it is Scott Jobin once again with his 54 foot Sea Ray. They took care of the checkpoint out at Egmont Key uh, back in the rough Gulf coastal waters, uh, which we did earlier in the day. Uh, but he has relocated this Sea Ray and that is Little Harbor in the background. It's a little marina community. Uh, if you were looking at it on the map, it'd be near Ruskin, Florida. Uh, but it's a cool little place with restaurants and condos and a resort and, of course, a big marina. It wasn't a very long ride from that last checkpoint at the Benoit Basin. The boats basically had to just take a straight shot across Tampa Bay, going eastbound to cross over the Bay Waters to this checkpoint. And I'm pretty sure that not many of the teams actually found this checkpoint. Remember, guys, we do this for fun. Uh, it's a game of chance indeed, but everyone's just out for a fun day on the water. And as we land the helicopter with the uh, Tampa Bay Aviation R44, gets settled down on the ground. Looking out, it still looks quite nice here at Peter O'Knight Airport, which is close to the home base for our event in downtown Tampa. But indeed, there are storms coming at a rapid pace as the teams begin to arrive back here at the Tampa Convention Center and the neighboring marinas here in the Tampa Harbor. And Team Rocksteady rolling in, David and Jack Ordinier. Well, I hope I didn't butcher your last name, David, but thank you for joining us and for making it a family day on your 29 Scarab. So if you want to enjoy checking out power boats and fun people, <laughs> this would be a good place to be right about now because the teams are gonna start coming in one by one and watching all these high performance boats come in and get everybody tied up here on these docks. This is a front row seat to the Tampa Bay Poker Run and I would invite anybody who wants to get in on the action and check things out to come down here at about 3.30 or 4 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon because that's when the dockside party begins. But if you look off to the right there, you see those flags fluttering. 
uh, and our FPC flags here on the dock. And they're fluttering because those winds are really starting to pick up quickly. And although the skies are still blue, that system is coming in hard and fast from the west. And it wasn't until we took a look at the radar before we realized that we were about to get hit really, really hard. And I don't think that any of these teams realized they didn't need to spend too much time washing down the boats because all they needed to do was get them covered up and tied up properly and then run for cover. And thank God that our staff at the Tampa Convention Center understood that our outdoor party, which was going to be right here in the courtyard where those blue pillars are, they knew that wasn't going to work, so they moved us inside. And that, of course, saved the day because now we had the ideal venue for the Poker Run Awards party, starting off with this area where we played out the poker cards. And, and I had to realize just how perfect it was. I would have asked for it right from the start, but of course we wanted to have the nice outdoor vibe overlooking the boats. But sometimes you've got to go to plan B, and certainly in Florida where the weather changes so quickly, uh, having a plan B was the ideal solution to this inclement weather that came upon us very suddenly. And for many of you who have not attended any of our Poker Run events, this gives you kind of a good idea. The ladies like to get all dressed up, and our FPC girls, uh, they themselves are all dolled up, ready to greet you all and play out your hands. And as I said earlier, you don't have to do all five checkpoints to get all five cards. Everyone's entitled to their first hand. Of course, if you want to increase your chances of winning, you can always purchase extra cards like some of these teams did. And often that may just pay off in the long run and get you closer to being one of our winning teams. We generally have prizes in the categories of first, second, and third place. The Tampa Convention Center staff gave us a giant ballroom where we were able to have a wonderful dinner. And of course, the customary sponsor recognition awards were conducted as part of our ceremony. Special thanks to Eric Glazer and the entire crew at Team Midnight Express. They had a great showing on the event. Thanks to John Kosker and his crew from Mystic Power Boats, there were three brand new M4200 models on the roster. Jeff Tomlinson from Nortec High Performance Boats joined us for the party. They had a great showing with 10 registered Nortec boats on the roster. Performance Boat Center had a great showing as always. In addition to the right performance cat that they brought for the run, they had customers attending with Sensations, Cigarettes, and MTIs. Dennis Delatore and his crew from the Plantation Boat Mart attended, representing manufacturers Deep Impact Boats as well as Blackwater Boats. The two brands are manufactured side by side in their Opalaka factory. Meanwhile, Plantation Boat Mart is the exclusive worldwide sales center for these brands, with the newest dealer being Unreal Performance from Michigan, who were represented here on today's event. And a very special thanks to the local builder Statement Marine, Nick Buis, wife Priscilla, and their entire family were on board to help out with the event, and what a bunch of great surprises they had in store for us. And of course, the very coveted President's Choice Awards, which we had many of, here are some of our winners. Farthest Traveled Award was shared by Frank Sheerlin and Sven Dracker, both of them traveling all the way from Germany to join us for this run. The most enthusiastic team was awarded to Neil and Cindy Campbell along with their crew on Team Bodacious 2, the 42-foot Mystic. Best Center Console was awarded to David Landsman with his brand new Midnight Express 43-foot Solstice, Team Game Changer. Thomas Frund won Best Catamaran for his brand new MTI 390X. It's powered by Mercury Racing 450s. Best Poker Run Boat was awarded to Dennis Delatore with his 41-foot Blackwater powered by Quad Mercury 400s. Best Dressed Team went to Bruce and Tracy Kruglick on the 38 Statement Team Bad Dog 3.0. In addition to those gold bikinis, even the dudes matched. And best team name went to Marshall and Donna Gray for 38 Shades of Gray in their 38-foot statement. And that very coveted Sexiest Crew Award went to Jason and Christy Strauss in Team Black Boats Matter, 38-foot statement. And if it's any consolation, the Broken Propeller Award went to Rick Robb for his 42-foot fountain. He had a little drive failure at the end of the day and had to idle home. 
And for you guys who love Outer Limits, you'll like this award. Best Performance V-Bottom went to Cash Schubert for his SL44 Outer Limits Team Liquid Prozac. And we had a series of member appreciation awards. Uh, first of all, to Ray Evans for his 1985 Cigarette Mistress. And that is because it takes an awful lot of work and dedication to keep these old school cigarettes on the poker run circuit. This boat is 35 years old. I wanted to give special recognition to Ed and Jackie Rachel for their continued dedication and support to be on this run year after year and always with a lovely crew on board. And we also wanted to pay a special recognition to Nick and Christy Evans all the way from Indiana, uh, who through trials and tribulations uh, with their big 50 foot Nortec cat, in spite of a few mechanical gremlins, uh, still managed to get the boat out on the run. And even though it took them a while to get it out of the water and back on the trailer, they managed to show up for the party just in time to grab some dinner. Happy they could make it. And a very special place in my heart, Don and Alice Lightfoot, who have been in the club for probably 20 years. Don just reached 80 years old this year, still sitting at the helm of this 52-foot Nortec Roadster powered by Mercury Racing 1550s. When I grow up, I want to be Don Lightfoot, and I think we all feel the same way. And it's time to congratulate our winners. Third place went to Bruce and Tracy Kruglick on the 38-foot statement. Team Bad Dog 3.0. And second place, based on poker card rankings, went to Frank Schielen all the way from Germany with the 36 foot Nortec Team Top Fun. And our first place grand prize winner, Dean and Lisa Palestra, in the 38 foot statement. Representing the factory team, they had uh, Priscilla Buis riding along with them for the event all day Saturday. And even though they're a local team, they decided to dock the boat in downtown Tampa and get rooms at the JW Marriott. They made it a family weekend, uh, dad and mom and the three kids and a whole crew on board. And I'm so happy they were able to join us and take home that grand prize. And one of the big highlights of the evening, uh, anybody close to the Statement family would know Ricky and that he's been dating Priscilla's daughter, Caitlin, for quite some time. We awarded the Manufacturer's Cup for top representation at the event, and that was to be awarded to Nick and Priscilla Buis. Uh, but uh, they, of course, were not available to pick it up, so we asked Caitlin to come up. And right after that, uh, Ricky appeared and reached into my drink and pulled magically out of there an engagement ring and proceeded to propose to Caitlin, and here's how it went down. And I would have to say that it went off without a hitch. Congratulations to the Buis family uh, for not only a great event and great representation for your brand, but for a really special family occasion that you will all remember for many years to come with the engagement of Ricky and Caitlin. Well, guys, that was a fantastic event in every way, and we have already passed the 40-minute mark, making this an epic episode here on our YouTube channel. But, you know, the FPC girls, Lauren and Lily, wanted to give you guys a little more love and uh this maybe gives us a good segue to the announcement that as we climb on board this 39-foot cigarette belonging to Bill Robbins from Texas, remember it was the very first poker run for this cigarette. And back at the time in April when we staged this event, uh, Cigarette was not actually participating as an event sponsor. Uh, but since then, um, you know, as we turn the pages in time forward and planning ahead for the November Key West poker run, I'm happy to report that Cigarette Racing Team is very much going to be a part of our Key West Offshore Poker Run taking place in November and uh, happy to have them on board with their new ownership team in place. Of course, uh, many of the frontline management team 
are still there, and Eric Christensen will continue his role as president as Florida Powerboat Club forges a new partnership uh, with Cigarette Racing Team, and we really are going to map out the future of this iconic and legendary brand with an entirely new chapter. I can't wait. So let's uh, join in with a special thanks to both Lily and Lauren and the FBC girls, as well as all of the participants on this 10th annual Tampa Bay Poker Run. This event went over the top in every way possible, and we couldn't have done it without all of our sponsors and our participants. So guys, uh, as we move forward, we've got some great episodes ahead with feature coverage of Nortec High Performance Boats 30th anniversary celebration, which included an owner's fun run from Cape Coral through the local waterways to Yusepa Island, where Nortec owners were able to get together and celebrate this milestone of 30 years of Nortec high performance boats. It's all right here on the YouTube channel with Florida Powerboat Club. Guys, you can't afford to miss another episode, so be sure to tune in by subscribing to our channel and make sure you click that notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming poker run events in 2021 as well as membership information you can follow us on facebook at florida powerboat club and you can follow us on twitter and on these instagram pages thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page and you guys know who you are and i really do appreciate that but if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We have got a fantastic year planned for 2021 with members of the Florida Powerboat Club, so stay with us. Meanwhile, we're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer Ryan McCoy in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.